Hi, it's Rob Bryanton. Welcome back to the Imagining the Tenth Dimension video blog. Today's entry is dated December 12th, 2008. I invite you to go to tenthdimension.com slash blog if you'd like to read along. Uh, sometimes there's links in these uh, blogs that you can click on uh, for additional information. I do invite you to do that. This entry is called Elvis and the Electrons. Now we talk a lot about Everett's many worlds interpretation and we've used the often quoted example that if there are countless parallel universe versions of our own universe, then there must be versions of our universe out there in which it's 2009 and Elvis is still alive. We've also talked about the surprising idea that electrons are point-like particles, which means they have no size and no dimension. Everett's many worlds interpretation is also known as the theory of the universal wave function. And there are ways to tie these two ideas together. Electrons have no size and no dimension because they're part of a universal wave function. And any particular now, any particular one Planck, one Planck length wide slice of space-time, we observe a tiny piece of the wave function and call that an electron or a point-like particle. Back in the entry Imagining the Omniverse, we talked about Nobel Prize winner Frank Wilczek's new book which says all matter and energy comes from empty space. We talked, about how I, how, we talked about how this idea seems easily related to John Wheeler's idea of a quantum foam, an underlying background which is churning away with particles that are produced and immediately disappear. And we've also imagined how an underlying symmetry state could produce such an effect in recent entries like dreaming of electric sheep and the Big Bang and the Big Pie. Now, if you're reading in the blog, there's a BBC documentary uh, I came across that actually ties these related ideas together in a manner very similar to where I've been heading with all this. And I do invite you to, to uh, go to, to look at that. If you're looking at the video blog version right now, uh, you're going to be able to, in YouTube, you'll be able to, to click on a link to be able to go to that BBC video that I'm talking about. The name of this clip, which comes from a documentary called Parallel Universes, is called do disappearing electrons prove that Elvis is still alive? Uh, the point this documentary segment makes is that some theorists use the many worlds interpretation to explain where those particles that come into and disappear out of our universe are going when they disappear. They are then appearing in some of the other versions of our universe that are what we're trying to imagine with the branching fifth dimensional timelines found within my way of visualizing reality. And yes, the video clip we're talking about here actually has someone who looks like Elvis putting in a cameo, showing him in one of those other universes where he got off the pills and is still alive and kicking right now. Physicist and astronomer Milo Wolf has an interesting website about the quantum universe. And if you're reading in the blog, you can click to see a page from that website, which explains the wave structure of electrons and provides an interesting animated graph showing how waves interact to produce the electrons' observed properties. All of this ties back to the central idea of this project. Our observed universe is just a tiny slice of a much larger pie, which some scientists are now calling the omniverse. As we imagine the higher dimensional structures that create our observed reality, we're dwarfed again and again by the immensity of what we're trying to visualize here. But ultimately, that's what I find so uplifting about this as an exercise as well. Because out of all those universes that could have been, and all of those parallel universe versions of our own, own universe, isn't it amazing that we're in this one very particular universe right here and right now? To finish, here's a bit of a tongue-in-cheek song about how amazing our world is and how no matter where we want to define as the place it all comes from, we have to arrive at something that just is. Otherwise, as we discussed in the blog entry about poll question 22, we're stuck with there being turtles all the way down. My name is Rob Bryanton. Enjoy the journey.